Hi, I am going to tell you about lateral flow membrane machine used in the liquid dispensing and membrane dispensing or coating process. Stay tuned to know about all aspects of lateral flow membrane coating. Three important things are associated with the membrane coating or dispensing art. First one is of course the membrane, second one is a machine and third one is a process used in the membrane coating or dispensing. Schematic diagram for the lateral flow tests are as shown in the field. In this video we will focus about membrane and plastic backing. To know about the lateral flow or other component please click the link below in the description box. Let's move on to the membrane. One of the most important component of the lateral flow test or rapid test or the POC test. Sometimes rapid or lateral flow test called as a point of care test. Membrane is a immunochromatographic medium or matrix for antigen or antibody reaction. Nowadays most of the membrane supplied with the transparent plastic support. How it's made? The membranes are casted onto the solid polyester film by supplier or manufacturer as to easy handling and provide the higher mechanical strength in order to avoid the DMA during the operation or transport. Also separate the membrane from contacting adhesive or gumming used in the lamination process and thereby act as a barrier for the contamination from adhesive. Generally used membranes are nitrocellulose. Membranes are either supplied with the laminated backing or without laminated backing. Laminated backing consists of non-transparent white plastic backing with the membrane adhesive and release liner. Dimension and acceptable limit of the plastic backing must be specified. Nitrocellulose membranes are classified based on number one pore size, number two capillary flow rate. Membranes are porous in nature, that is, they have a teeny passage for filtration. Pore size measured as a large pores in the filtration direction. Capillary flow rate. It is the speed at which the sample moves on to the membrane when it is applied. It is generally measured in second per 4 cm. Different membrane supplied are based on the pore size that is are 5 micron, 10 micron, 12 micron and 15 micron and based on the capillary flow rates are 80 seconds, 130 seconds, 20 seconds etc. Manufacturing or product requirement First one is assay should have a strong binding. It is possible only good coated line or dot have a strong binding. In turn, it results in a strong and defined band or dot. Second one, easy to handle. It should have a good shelf life and should be stable during long storage. Third one is a consistency. It should have no or negligible variation for inter or intra back production. Key things to be noted during the membrane use and handling. Membrane should be stored in a sealed pouch. Environment condition for the storage are humidity 25 to 70 percent and temperature of the room 18 to 25 degrees centigrade. It should be stored in a preferably clean room. It should free from the dust or particle. It should not expose to the organic solvent as organic solvent changes the chemical property of the membrane. As nitrocellulose are flammable. Avoid fire, intense heat or flame. It is just a general instruction for storage. Follow the instruction given by the manufacturer or supply for the specific membrane. If the membrane touched with the bare finger, finger impression may appear and sweat or protein on the skin may absorb by the membrane, which may interfere the assay. That's why you should wear the gloves during the membrane handling. Sometimes during the operation, holes, dents, scratches visible on the membrane. Such damaged membrane should not be used. During long storage and other reason membrane color changes to yellow or hair, such membrane should be rejected for the production. Lamination and membrane design. Three major components are plastic backing, adhesive, release liner. First one is backing. White non-transparent, sometimes transparent backing used to support the membrane and other components. You should not be confused with the transparent plastic support which is used to cast the membrane. Backing thickness should be consistent. Specification of backing design is a critical parameter. Small changes may lead to the significant result changes at the end. So variation to the backing specification to be avoided during the manufacturing. Adhesive that is a gumming or a double sided tape. 
selection of gumming or double sided tape also a critical factor it is a direct contact with the material and it should not change or interfere the chemical or physical property of the component or analyte or sample next one is the slit slitting should be done wherever required for the backing four processes are first one is membrane assembling second one is a dispensing or coating third one is a blocking fourth one is a drying membrane assembling two different ways membrane is assembled first one before dispensing or coating membrane laminated to the backing using adhesive tape this can be done by automation system in the roll form or in 300 mm sheet form second one is after dispensing or coating coated membrane laminated to the backing using automation system or semi automation or manual by hand consistency will not be there in manual lamination sometimes dedicated machine used for lamination of the membrane dispensing or coating process this is a typical process flow coating number 1 coating solution or blocking solution preparation number 2 membrane assembling post dispensing method number 3 coating or dispensing number 4 marking number 5 drying coating solution preparation first one preparation of coating buffer second one preparation of control and test solution it is very important thing that control and test solution prepared separately and stored separately and container should be used dedicated to avoid the contamination dedicated syringe and tubing should be used during coating and number 3 stirring that stirring and mixing are done separately for control and test solution factor to be considered while preparing the coating solution are first one ionic strength second one coating solution third one is ph fourth one is buffer salt concentration general recipe for the coating solution first one is stress phosphate or borate buffer depending on the pi value of the antigen or antibody we need to select the buffer second is a sucrose third one is a detergent or surfactant fourth one is a ethanol concentration of this component may vary for product to product these chemical provides the stability wetting better sample release and uniform band or dot on the membrane blocking solution preparation all nitrocellulose membrane requires additive to ensure the re-wetting after storage nowadays blocking process is avoided by the manufacturer as it is time consuming during the manufacturing general recipes are number 1 buffer number 2 detergent number 3 polymer number 4 sucrose number 5 bsa 0.2% or casing 0.02% it may vary from product to product advantage of membrane blocking first one during assay it is re-wetting faster compared to the non-blocking membrane second one is a blocker membrane shows a sharp one line and intense line third one it lowers the background or noise fourth one increases the stability and shelf life of the membrane coating and assembly machine assembly machine as said before assembly machine either as a part of automation in combination with other process or dedicated machine for assembling it will only do assembling coating machine first one is automated as told before and second is a manual or semi automated machines are of two type either contact or non contact in contact machine needle touches the membrane physically whereas in non contact solution dispenses from the dispense as a contact coating touches the machine line formation usually uniform but it may damage or form a impression on the membrane after drying contamination ch- chances may also will be there Whereas in non-contact coating machine, chances of swaying instead of opening the uniform line occurs. Sometimes small blockage may cause the irregular line formation. Nowadays you can form a different structure, a dot line. In non-contact machine, small small dot coalesce to form a line. And plus symbols, many more structure can be done with the machine. Different way of motion can be done using the coating machine. linear zigzag and many other path option available quality check done for the automation and manual coating machines are first one is a optical sensor inspect only the presence of solvent second one is a light box present and width of the solvent reagent lines and third is a vision camera presence and width of the solvent membranes once dried it is not possible to check the quality of the line cleaning and maintenance of the assembly machine After every batch completion all material should be cleared and dust particle formed during the manufacturing should be cleaned and monthly once basic maintenance should be done 
putting machine clean. Cleaning should be done as per the operational or maintained manual instruction. Before and after coating, it is important to follow the washing procedure. General washing procedure before and after coatings are first one, washing with the deionized water for minimum 10 cycles, then wash with the mild detergent or wash solution supplied with the machine. Again, wash the 10 cycle with deionized water to remove the washing solution. Periodically washing done as follows first, wash with the DI water, then wash with the mild detergent or wash solution, and again wash with the DI water to remove the unwanted wash solution, and again wash with the mild acid and wash with the DI water to remove the acid residue, and wash with the mild alkali, and again wash with the DI water to completely remove the mild alkali. This washing step cleans all kind of residue. It is recommended to follow at least 3 months once. Coating machine maintenance. Annual maintenance is required for coating machine. Apart from that, regular need to check spare part. You should have enough conveyor part, roll part if applicable. Belt, needles and seating should have a spare for continuous production without breakdown. Big thank you for watching. Hope this video is useful for you. Please don't forget like, share and subscribe to my channel for further updates.